What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's weekly reset time, so let's go over what is new for this week as well as the gear that is available. We are going to start with the milestones first. So we have Crucible Challenges, which we need to complete three challenges in the Crucible. Then we have Clan XP, which you need to earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, and Crucible or World Activities. Then we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is Seventh Noon Song. And the modifiers on that are Momentum, which Health and Shield Regeneration stop when you're not moving, Sprint to speed up regeneration, and then we also have Time Warp Anomalies, which Strange Anomalies have been detected in the area, destroy them to release Temporal Energy, and extend the Mission Timer. And we have 13 minutes and 58 seconds to complete that. Next we have Leviathan, which we need to complete the Leviathan Raid or the Eater of Worlds Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you need to win glory by participating in Crucible matches. The Flashpoint this week is on Mercury. If you activate the heroic version of that, you will complete that faster. And then we also need to complete three heroic strikes. As for Brother Vance, the very starting prophecy for this week is the Lost Prophecy verse 10. And if I am correct, this will give you the sword. So let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse Welcome this week. For the emotes, we have the Confused. Then we have the Dancy Dance. Next, for the Speeder, we have the Striped Abandon. Pretty cool speeder. For the ship, we have the sailing shield. For weapon ornaments, we have the black plague. For the rat king, as well as the new catacombs for the rat king. As for Armor of the Week, it is class items. So we have the Omega Mechanos Bond for the Warlock. It's pretty bright. I don't know, I actually like it. For the Ghost, we have uh, Captain Seashell. Then we have your Guardian Pink. Transmat effect. Then we have Fermius Blue as a shader. And then uh, Metallic Sunrise. And then we have your Fire Team Medallion. However, we also have two other consumables. Next, we have the Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, which, when this is used during a strike, all players receive an Eververse gift at the end of that strike. Next, we have the Gleaming Boon of the Crucible, which, when this is used during a Crucible match, all players receive an Eververse gift at the end of that match. After the patch, some of the vendors have gear that you can purchase from them directly. So, Zavala actually has a Xenos Veil Bond, Xenos Veil 4, Xenos Veil 4 Gauntlets, Xenos Veil 4 Chest, Xenos Veil 4 Helmet, and for a limited time, the Origin Story at 300. Next, let's see what Lord Shax actually has. For the Warlock, we have all of the Anka Seeker 4 gear. So that is the Bond, Legs, Arms, Chest, Helmet, as well as the Autumn Wind Pulse Rifle for uh, the weapon, for that's a limited time. As for Ikora, she gives us the beginning Warlock gear for when we actually started the Destiny 2 story. Don't forget to visit Kate 6 in order to get those Sorry. weekly treasure maps. This week's treasure map is on Mercury. And I'm broke. 
And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.